Welcome back to Soda City Live. When you're a caregiver for a family member's child, you may find, you might not find rather many people that share, uh, share rather the same experience with you, especially if the child you are caring for has special needs. Well, Ken Carolina is there with support, offering a six month program through a partnership with USC and UNC at Chapel Hill. Joining us today with kin, uh, Kinship Care, Kinship Care is uh, Chief Executive Officer Dr. Kim. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. So it's Kindred Hearts. Kindred Hearts is your organization. Yes. Talk about how this organization came about. What's your personal connection? Sure. Kindred Hearts, we serve kinship caregivers, and that's those grandparents, aunties, uncles, other family members, could be older siblings or fictive kin, which are family friends who for whatever reason, for whatever circumstances that arise, they step in and they take care of their children. My experience is in 2003, my nieces and nephews, their mom got killed in a car accident and their maternal grandmother said they would not be separated. I will step in. And so she took care of the children. And my family and I, we said, hey, we are here. We're going to be your support. And so that threw us all into the whole kinship care arena. We saw the need of what support looks like. We saw the benefits of making sure she had respite time, making sure that she was connected to school professionals. The schools jumped in. We were part of Richland II School District. They had the Grandparents Raising Grandkids um, program, and they stepped in. They were a part of that support. So we know that there are other kinship care families out there because kinship care is an age old yes. phenomenon. What we also know is that there are families who don't have the wherewithal like we did, mm -hmm. those connections, and we want to help them navigate those programs. That, it's very beautiful that you shared your story. Thank you so much. Sure. Um, I don't think a lot of people even realize that they are in a kinship family. Right. They just do the job. You know, right. it, it comes with the territory. Um, my grandmother was taken in by her cousins, her mm -hmm. family members. Mm -hmm. They helped raise her. They offered her opportunities when her mother passed mm -hmm. away. And so I have a firsthand account and understand as well. Um, my best friend and her children, you know, her mother now raised her, raises her children. So, you know, we understand the importance of having them. And so Sometimes, again, like you mentioned, they don't realize that there are resources there. Right. And so with Ken Carolina, this is a program that offers six months to daily, not, I don't want to say daily, but six months to weekly sessions and one-on-ones right. that can help them. So talk about what is all entailed in this in this program. Sure. So Ken Carolina, as you mentioned, is a six month comprehensive study that's funded by Duke Endowment that allows us to work with kinship caregivers who are raising children with disabilities. And those families have to live in the Midlands to be eligible for this program. And what we're looking to do is pair those kinship caregivers who reach out to us and they apply and they choose to participate. Um, connect them with persons, peer, peer liaisons, who have gone through the process mm -hmm. or who are going through the process, and those peer-to-peer -peer have shared experiences mm -hmm. that they can candidly share, this is how I had to walk through this program. This is how I had to contact at my school to make sure that my child has access to whatever is that identified need. And so with those peer liaisons, they build that bond throughout this six months process, and they're able to walk them step by step step and door help them reach out to other resources that they need. Additionally, we will have peer support groups where uh, the peer liaisons along with kinship caregivers who are within those um, who have elected to participate in the program, they will meet um, on a monthly basis to discuss candidly their challenges, mm. their successes, their needs, their wants, the fun things, you know, the, the challenging things. And so they will be there to support each other. And then we will have uh, community experts, uh, school officials, those who work with um, families, those who work um, in the area of mental health and disabilities, they will come in and do what we call um, training mm -hmm. um, for these kinship caregivers, those psychosocial needs and psychotherapy um, resources that are needed for these kinship caregivers so they can thrive and so they can be informed of what they child may need. 
Absolutely, and this is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Now, is there a set date that this begins and ends, or is it throughout the year, just whenever you can get signed up, your six months start from there? How does how does that process So work? we are blessed again by Duke Endowment to have this program, and they are sponsoring us and funding this program for five years. And wow. we are up and running. We are accepting applications. We are interviewing. We have um, kinship caregivers that are in the program that are giving us feedback to, you know, let us know that this is working or this isn't working. I need help this way. I need help that way. The peer liaisons are jumping in and making this program their own. They are able to share um, their weekly contacts with kinship caregivers. They are able to reach out to um, persons who are um, hired for Kin Carolina through the University of South Carolina and through our partnership um, with the University of North Carolina Department of Social Work. And they, we have the program coordinator and then we have a benefit specialist to help them walk through those varied benefits that they may need. That's awesome. We're going to pull the details up. We want to make sure that our viewers have the information that they need. Sure. Um, again, it's going to be six months to biweekly to one on one sessions. And then there's also a compensation component for those that they're not able to, you know, take that a financial hit of being able being in these courses uh, talk about that yes so we that's one component that the team that developed this team and I would be remiss not to mention the dynamic persons uh, or organizations that are participating in this team the University of North Carolina the University of South Carolina um, the University of um, Arizona University State University Ohio State University and the Catholic um, University of America um, along with Kindred Hearts these intellectual minds and our organizations who are providing these resources are the minds behind the process and they said you can't say services without there being some type of compensation mm. because a lot of times caregivers don't get connected to services yeah. because of the lack of finances mm. that goes along with the process of those resources and so those the kinship caregivers will be um, randomly um, selected into uh, two different groups. And one of the groups will have that walkthrough process where they will be working through Ken Carolina program, through Kindred Hearts, and they will have the peer liaisons. The other group will be given a comprehensive list of resources. And so our goal is to show that that, that full comprehensive support is what will yield that well-supported kinship caregiver, that kinship caregiver will, will be well after support, which will yield a well child. And so finances is up to $450 and that will be determined by the level or the group that you are randomly put in. Perfect. Well, Dr. Kim, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be sure to have all these details on our website, SodaCityLive.com. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Soda City Live. Stick with us.